Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so while working with a really awesome, young, um, talented mathematician and preparing her for the AMC 10 coming up soon, um, shout out to Emily Wong, um, I came across uh, this really neat problem on uh, the 2018 AMC 10A and it's problem number 16. And I think it's the most interesting problem on that contest and maybe the most difficult. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd share, so here it goes. So it says to start that a sub 1, a sub 2, all the way to a sub 2018, uh, so 2018 numbers <laughs> by my count, are strictly increasing and all positive integers, right? Pay attention, positive integers. So they're natural numbers essentially, right? Okay, 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 cool, <clears throat> and strictly increasing. And we're told that if we add them all up, we get 2018 to the power 2018. Yeah, how creative, contest math people. Um, okay, okay. And so then the question is, if we add their cubes and divide it by six, what is the remainder? Ah, cool. So why I thought this was like the coolest question on the AMC 10 ever is because, well, at the heart of the solution to this problem are two crucial, very, very important theorems in contest mathematics, namely Fermat's Little Theorem. I already have two videos on Fermat's Little Theorem, so you should check them out. Uh, and then the Chinese remainder theorem. And so I have three videos on the Chinese remainder theorem. So I'm saying the solution to this problem is coupling from Ma's little theorem and the Chinese remainder theorem. How exactly? Well, here it goes. Um, so first note that, uh, note that I can write that a sub i cubed for any one of these guys, right? That's what I'm denoting by a sub i, any one of them cubed is congruent to a sub i mod three. Why? Well, because by Fermat's little theorem, since 3 is a prime, p, we know that a, a natural number, to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. If we take that and multiply on both sides by a sub i, we get this. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. Uh, some writing will help. So this is what I'm saying. Uh, by Fermat's little theorem, we know that this is true. So p is 3, the prime, and we've got a, a natural number, they're all natural numbers, to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p, right? And if I multiply uh, both sides of this congruent statement by a sub i, I'll get exactly this. Ah, cool. Um, all right, all right. So we see. And so then I could write this specifically for i equals 1. But then since this is a general statement for any one of them, I could also write a similar statement for uh, a sub 2 cubed and on and on and on all the way to a sub 2018 cubed. So they're all congruent to just themselves to the first power mod three, right? And so then there's some, right? That's uh, what we want to investigate. There's some, which is this plus this plus all the way down to this is going to be this plus that plus all the way down to this mod three. Uh, so um, let me display what I'm talking about and then you'll get it. So I'm saying the sum of their cubes has to be congruent to has to be congruent to well the sum of them mod 3 because well from what we said just in the line above this guy is congruent to this guy mod 3 this guy is congruent to this guy mod 3 by the way um, I don't mean to be sexist when I say guy it's just natural so people like don't like get bogged down in details and make life harder than it is. All right, all right, all right. So <laughs> this guy is congruent to that mod three, right? Okay, and then we are given that the sum here is 2018 to the power 2018. So we see that the sum of the cubes is congruent to 2018 to the power 2018 mod three. Ah, cool. And so then uh, if you apply for Ma's little theorem on uh, 2018 to the power 2018, you'll find that it's congruent to 1 mod 3. Now, again, I already have two videos dedicated to Fermat's little theorem, so I'm not going to explain why this has got to be true right now. But what we just discovered is the sum of the cubes is congruent to 1 mod 3. Yeah? Okay. And remember, we're interested in the sum of the cubes. Now, I haven't paid attention to the fact that we're dividing it by 6. Why? Well, because, because we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, just be patient. Yeah? Okay. 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 So here it goes. Um, then next, we also know, again, by Fermat's little theorem, that this is true. Because this time the prime is uh, 2, so p is 2. And so a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod um, p. Ah, this should say 1. Sorry, guys. This is literally my third recording of this. Like, 
Um, I like just, you know, in the interest of time, your time and mine will not explain, but basically like I had to redo this video many times because I kept on making uh, typing errors. So this should say one right here, all right? Obviously, Fermat's uh, little theorem says a to the power p minus one is congruent to one mod p. So if this is correctly written, this right here should say one. So please forgive me. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right. And uh, you'll see that I will have fixed it in uh, what's to come. Um, okay, okay, okay. And why? Well, I just said for my little theorem, if we fixed it, this is one, right? And I intended for this to be one. Okay, okay, okay. I can't say that uh, more without being annoying, right? Again, by Fermat's little theorem is how we know this. And here is a correctly stated version of this, right? Right here. Uh, a to the power p minus one is congruent to one mod p. Ah, okay. So then what we could do is we could uh, first just know that two minus one is one. And uh, so realizing that we could just write this, right? No need to write uh, a sub i to the power of one. I could just write a sub i is congruent to one mod uh, two. And this again, we know by Fermat's little theorem. But then from here, uh, this is what we can say. But this in turn means that a sub i cubed is congruent to a sub i squared mod two. Obviously, what I did to go from this to this is I multiplied on both sides of this statement by a sub i squared, right? Okay, okay, okay. But then the most crucial piece uh, in this solution is what I'm about to display right now, which is next we're gonna say that a sub i cubed is congruent to just a sub i mod two. Why? Think about why while I'm displaying it. So I'm saying we could, in place of this, write this. Why is this true? And I've called this uh, statement star star. And next we're going to focus on star star because it's the most crucial piece to this puzzle. And we know that we could say this, which is a sub i cubed is congruent to just a sub i as opposed to a sub i squared mod 2, right? So in other words, we can change this to this because because we already said uh, that since we know by Fermat's little theorem that this is true, if we multiply on both sides of this, we're going to get that uh, a sub i squared is congruent to a sub i mod 2. That means that a sub i squared is congruent to a sub i so that we can change this a sub i squared to a sub i, right? This is the most important piece. And um, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself too much, so I'm going to keep it moving. But if you have questions, ask and I will explain. Okay, what does all, all this mean? Well, we just said that since we can turn this into this by what I just justified right here, then it means that we can say that this sum is congruent to, well, the sum of them, right? The sum of these guys, because I just said that uh, this here is uh, congruent to just a sub one mod two. This here is congruent to a sub two mod two by this guy, right? By star star. And this guy is congruent to a sub uh, 2018 mod two. So mod two, the sum of them is just the sum, sorry, the sum of their cubes is mod two going to be congruent to, uh, just the sum of them mod two. But the sum of them is, as we were given from the start, it's 2018 to the power 2018. So the sum of uh, their cubes mod two is going to be congruent to 2018 to the power 2018. Again, because this here is right there, right? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm saying next we could say that the sum of the cubes is congruent to 2018 to the power 2018 mod two. Um, but 2018 to the power 2018 is congruent to zero mod two. Why? Because, well, clearly you can tell that 2018 to the power 2018 is an even number, and that means it's divisible by two, therefore it's gotta be congruent to zero uh, mod two, right? Um, all right, cool. So now if we um, say that um, X is the sum of the cubes, right? Then we've said two things. One is X is congruent to one mod three, and x is congruent to 0 mod 2. Ah, cool. We can make 6 by multiplying 3 and 2, and that's where the Chinese remainder theorem comes in. Isn't this cool? I thought so. Uh, so next we go, all right, so now we have x is congruent to, remember, x is the sum of them, right? It's congruent to 1 mod 3 through everything I've said so far. And we also know that it's congruent to 
uh, 0 mod 2. And so using the Chinese remainder theorem, we can solve this system of two congruence equations. Now, I have three videos on the Chinese remainder theorem, so I'm not going to explain how it works. I'm just going to say what it suggests is a solution. So the Chinese remainder theorem says that uh, the x that will solve this system of two congruence equations is the following. It's x equal to this, which is 4, if you like do the arithmetic, and if you uh, look at um, the solution to uh, this problem, the uh, 2018 AMC 10A problem 16, you'll find that we found the correct answer, and I am done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. More to come, and keep watching. Uh, take care.